Hey guys, this video is for you. If you are making box plots um, and you're starting to find outliers and so you're going to be making what's called modified box plots, which is just a box plot or a box and whisker plot with outliers labeled. Okay, that was a lot to say. Let's start doing this problem. So outliers are numbers that are so far away from the other pieces of data that if we just plot it normally, it's going to make our data look skewed. So we still want to represent it but we want to kind of show, okay, this number's here, but it's so far away, we're going to look at it a little bit differently. Okay, so we needed a way to be able to identify these. Okay, so what we use is called our inner quartile range or the IQR. Okay, I'm going to put up a little paper for my people who like to read it. Take a screenshot of this if it'll help you. Um, but if you're like, don't tell me, just show me. That's what I'm going to do now. Okay, so there's that. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's going away very smoothly. Okay, so my inner quartile range is my third quartile minus my first quartile. Okay, so we need to find our quartiles. Um, I'm guessing if you've been making box and whisker plots, you have been doing this. But if you watch this and you're like, oh, I need some more help finding quartiles, I will link a video in the corner. Okay, so. We start usually with our second quartile because it is our median, okay? So to find the median, I'm just gonna count to the middle, okay? So 48 is my second quartile, okay? Or my median, there we go. Okay, to find my first quartile, I'm going to find the middle of that bottom half. Sorry guys, I'm moving a paper around. There we go, okay, ready. I'm going to find the middle of this bottom half, okay? Dot, 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 35. There is 35. And then for my third quartile, we're going to take the middle of this. So it is 58. Remember, if there's ever, if the middle is two numbers, you add them and divide by two, okay? Find their average. Okay, so now that I have my quartiles, I can find my inner quartile range, which is the third quartile do, 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 minus the first quartile. That was beautiful handwriting. Sorry about that. So 58 minus 35. Okay, this is if you have been doing box and whisker plots, this is the length of the box. Okay, so 58 minus 35 gives me 23. Okay. So that is my inner quartile range, but in order to help me find outliers, I'm going to take my inner quartile range and multiply it by 1.5. So basically what they're saying is if there's a piece of data that is more than one and a half boxes away, it's too far. It's an outlier. Okay. So when I take 23 and multiply it by 1.5, I get 34.5 and that is my magic number, okay? I wish it had a name. As far as I know, it doesn't, and it needs one. So there you go. Okay, so now we are going to find what we call our lower limit, and da, 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 you probably guessed our upper limit, okay? To find my lower limit, I take quartile one and subtract this number, which I wish had a special name, the IQR times 1.5. So we're going to take 35 and subtract 34.5, which leaves me with 0.5. Okay. My upper limit, you might've guessed, I'm going to take the third quartile, 58, and add this number. Okay. 34.5. And I get 92.5. Okay, so these are my limits, which means anything lower than 0.5 is considered an outlier. And anything bigger than 92.5 is considered an outlier. Okay, so if we look at our set of numbers, you can see we have one outlier in this case, and it is 96. Okay. So that is how you find outliers. Now, if you are going to um, make a box plot out of this, you label the outlier with an asterisk, okay? And if you need a video about that, I will link a playlist that has those for you. All right, hopefully that made sense. Thanks, bye.